Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. The first of Swift's re-recorded albums is her 2008 breakthrough. It is satisfyingly, remarkably, almost like the first, with choice tweaks that breathe new life, wisdom and energy into old songs. There are lyrics throughout Taylor Swift's breakthrough record, Fearless, that almost 13 years later feel prophetic. In your life, you'll do things greater than dating the boys on the football team. She sings on 15. The walls that they put up to carry us back will fall down on change. In 2008, the songs had crystallised the experience of being a teenage girl and captured the spirit of an adulthood and a stardom almost fully formed. They chronicled feelings that were universal then, breakups, dreams, frustrations, first kisses, and still feels timeless. Regardless of what she does, there's reverence for her teenage work, and her regardless of the genre, her music returns to explore those self-same themes. Fearless, Taylor's version, is that the first of the six early albums Swift is re-recording after she lost the rights to her masters. In reclaiming her life's work, it is the natural place to start. Fearless was the record that changed her life. Its lead single, Love Story, was the pop crossover hit that forced the planet to require notice of her formidable, prodigious talent. The expanded 26-track remake with six new songs from the vault that she wasn't allowed to incorporate the primary time around may be a symbolic triumph. For it to be a financial one too, it relies upon her fans returning to those versions rather than the old ones, and for the casual listener to not know the difference. She has honoured her 18-year-old self remarkably closely, limiting nearly every breath, infection and cry. And many of the brand members from the first have returned. It is meticulously faithful and nostalgic for her old innocence. The intervening years adding wisdom and depth without trying too hard to emphasise the expansion between then and now. Where there are changes, they feel well chosen. Tell Me Why, Taylor's version, an upbeat album track, A Few Boy Who Sends Mixed Messages, Throbs Without Exciting Renewed Venom, The Road You Require From Me, My Love, and You Push Me Around, transforms into a full-throated wail. Album tracks are perhaps where she has allowed herself the foremost creative freedom, Forever and Always, Taylor's version, adds a gorgeous string at scant and a rapid percussion. It feels sudden, urgent and fresh. Songs from the vault are where it's clearest what proportion she has matured as a songwriter. These are the emotions of an adolescent from the mouth of a 31-year-old. Mr Perfectly Fine is playful and sharp. The devastating We Were Happy feels most keep with the first record. And therefore, the sparse and wounded Don't You, the foremost contemporary. If fearless, Taylor's version is Swift's bid to inform us her full story, how satisfying that it should sound so familiar to the one we already know. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.